here and today I am here at the Affordable Art Fair in Hampstead Heath. Now this hosts a range of new and established artists, all for under £6,000. Let's see what they're all about. So the art fair was started in 1999 by Will Ramsey and it was all about democratising the art world, about breaking down barriers, so whether or not you had absolutely no knowledge of fine art at all or if you were quite an experienced collector you would be able to come to an event and feel welcome, potentially have some fun, seek out emerging artists as well as mid-practitioners, mid-career practitioners and hopefully walk home with a piece of art. Tell me a little bit about your work and how it's put together. Um, my work comes out of a 3D scan, uh, which is actually uh, Xbox Kinect used as a 3D scan, so it's a quite cheap device. Uh, the reason why I use it is uh, because it distorts and deforms uh, whatever it scans in a very interesting way. So the Elton El John piece that I did was um, it's a collaboration with um, Elton John himself um, and the very well-known photographer Terry O'Neill, the British photographer Terry O'Neill. Um, Terry took a picture of Elton back in at a, at, a, at a major gig back in 1975, Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, which was a kind of Elton John sold out the 55,000 seat stadium um, back to back dates a certain first, and, it, and it kind of the gig also falls in like history books in the sense that it was a kind of classic gig. I've seen as well that you've got artists from all over the world. I've seen a few from the Netherlands, etc. How far does it stretch? So we're a gallery-led fair, so our galleries are really international. The closest lives 500 metres away, and we also have galleries from Byron Bay. And, you know, the artists also spread the full circumference of the globe as well. So it's an amazing place for us to be able to see such a rich diversity of talent that's coming out of the global art market. You know what it is about the affordable? People come to buy art and they buy it for those honest reasons. They buy it because they like it. They don't buy names. They don't buy blue chip. They buy it because they love it. And what's good, that I can talk to them about the art. And that's what I love. We've had a good old mooch around and we have found a whole variety of affordable art proving that not only can art be great to look at but good for your pocket too. I've been Becca reporting for you.